Today I will be covering the operation of the SRES Runabout Planter. The Runabout Planter is a compact two-row planter that is three-point mounted. It is economical and easy to maneuver for filling in standard to small plots. The SRES Runabout Planter weighs roughly 1,500 pounds and is excellent for small research plots or small acreages. It has a small, comfortable operator platform, but still comes with the functions of a standard planter. The runabout planter was designed as a precision alternative to a cone planter. Built on a monosim based planter, the runabout uses an easy to change transmission to adjust the precise seed spacing. The runabout utilizes SRS modified monosim seed meters, along with our sure plant meter covers, for efficient singulation and evacuation of seeds of various sizes. The runabout also has a hydraulic motor to speed up the seed plate to allow you to plant plots with narrow alley links without stopping in the alley. Utilizing the classic control system, the runabout uses a PLC, or Programmable Logic Controller, to adjust timers to create alleyways between plots. Take the planter to an open piece of land. Loosen the locking knob on the hydraulic motor's needle valve. Dump some seed directly into one of the meters and have someone hold the number 5 button down. Adjust the speed of the motor to spin the seed plate as fast as it can go without skips on the plate. Once set, retighten the locking knob. Set the transmission for the desired seed spacing. Make sure you determine a planting speed. The PLC settings will be different when changing the tractor speed, seed spacing, seed plates or alley length. Use the arrow keys to highlight a setting. Press enter to get the cursor to flash, then enter the desired setting. Press enter to save the setting. Set the evac time setting. This should be set to evacuate all excess seed in the seed chamber before the override motor starts turning. Look at the end of the plot to get the evac time set correctly. Set evac and rotate to zero. Since you are not stopping in the alleys, the seed shaft will still be turning, and this step is not used. Set divider open time to ensure the divider opens all the way. If the divider doesn't open all the way, seeds could set on the gate and contaminate the next plot. Set divider close time to ensure the divider closes all the way. If the divider isn't closed all the way, there is a possibility of cross-contamination. Set the load time seconds to speed up the seed plate. The longer the time, the shorter the alley. But if this number is too high, you may see seeds bunched together at the beginning of the plots. Look at the start of the plot and alley width to get the load time set correctly. The plot length factor and setback settings are only used when using a cable or a cable winder and will be discussed later on in this video. If using a cable and check heads or a cable winder to trip the planter, you will need to set the plot length factor. Set up your cable and drive the planter through at least 10 plots. Write down the last plot length for these 10 plots. Take an average of the last plot lengths. Divide the average by the inches between buttons on the cable to get a ratio. Multiply the ratio by the plot length factor in the PLC settings. This will yield you a new plot length factor. Enter the new plot length factor into the PLC and test again. Our average of the 10 plots is 237.5 inches. Our buttons on our cable are every 240 inches, so we take our 237.5, divide it by 240, equals 0.9895. Our current plot length factor is 318, so we take our 0.9895 times 318, yield us a new plot length factor of 314.687. If using a cable or a cable winder to plant, we use the setback setting to align our alleys. In this example, the alley is not centered over the button. If this were a 3 foot alley, it would appear the button is 12 inches past the last seed of plot 1. To be centered, the button would need to be 18 inches past the last seed in plot 1. Increasing the setback number by 6 would correct this. With the planter set at its shallowest depth, plant several ranges in one direction, and then plant several ranges in the opposite direction. Flag the alleys and measure the difference from pass to pass. 
With the yellow arrows representing the direction of travel, the top example shows plots with the inline offset set too high. The bottom example shows plots with the inline offset set too low. To adjust, increase or decrease the inline offset by half the measured distance. This example shows an alley with the inline offset set too low. For this, increase the inline offset by 5 inches and run the test again. Depending on the planter, this test may be after repeated several times when changing planting speed. Always remember that the PLC settings will have to be changed and recalibrated when changing speed, seed spacing, alley length, or hydraulic motor speed. Thanks for watching.